my YouTube friends, it's Scott Buck here with another video and I'm showing my update, my camper trailer, I'm taking shape, still look look rough, I can't wait to pull this out and get it working, oh I can't wait, and the door's on already, I got the door on, I gotta just touch up the door, I got the old fashioned lock, see the DIY, it close up, the only thing is it's kind of hitches, it kind of hitches up on here, here so I'm going to sand this down a little bit right there, but it does close though, and other than that it does close, I got to do the framework, around there put a framework make it look nice i got the two handles i got a handle here i'm gonna put another handle on the outside let me open this door i got a handle now so i got to open it up like this and these are the two handles i got you can't see two handles what i'm going to do i'm going to measure the uh, the width the width and the depth because i'm going to get the uh, foam and i make my own pillows make my own pillows and make my own pillow for the front actually in walmart they have that big bed thing bed uh foam and it's like it's like cheaper than buying the actual foam it's softer but it's thicker got the fringe it's a fringe and i can double it to six inch so i'll buy probably two of those like um be full size well actually be king size bed a king size bed will be enough to do this so i'll buy that it's about 30 something dollars so i'll go to walmart and get that and i'm going to put that around and double it so it'll be six inches so i'll have comfort and i'll have a piece in the center here when i make my bed up if i have a friend or friends come with us in the bed and I'll put the piece in the center. Actually, I ain't painted that piece yet. The way this is looked, it don't look rough. This is why I like it. Originally, I was gonna leave this, leave this black, but then I don't want it too dark, because I like the light color in here, as you can see. I love the light color. Some part of it, some part of the wall is kind of puffy, so I gotta re-glue certain areas. But you know, I'll do that all in time. I painted it, I painted it, and it's kind of, some parts kind of come back out, so. That's the problem with DIY, but did that. Once I pull this out, I'm going to work on the high top. The high top thing, I'm going to, that will be basically last. I'm going to really work on this. I ordered one of those um, TV mounts, the ones that pull out. I got from Amazon, that should be here today. So that's going to go right there, right there. And I got, I'm, then I'm going to get a cheaper one from Walmart, from, Walmart, from Harvard Freight, which my heater will go right here. My heater's going to go here, and the heater will cover this. From here to where to come out, move side to side and all that. Just like my van. You see how my van is. It's going to be the same thing. I'll show you. Just like how this is. Just like I might see. Just like this is. The Harvard Freight one. The same thing. My heater. In my van. I'm in my van now. My camper trailer is going to have the same thing. Like this one. This is a cheaper one. With just the one arm. The one on um, the other place. That I'm getting from uh, Amazon. Has two arms. So for the TV. I'll have more stretching power. And this. The TV of course has the one. From the um, Amazon, this is the, Am this is the um, Harvard Freight one with the one, the one piece. The other one will have two arms on it. Anyway, let's go back to the camper trailer. Okay, back here. So that's gonna go here. And what I did, I made my own DIY. This is why I love about DIY. This is why I love talking about DIY. Because I'm not gonna put my TV in here. My TV, I'm not gonna get a TV in here. Because like I says, you need proper Wi-Fi or you need expensive 10 eyes and all that type of crap to pay. I just use my phone, use my lap, my tablet here, my tablet for my phone. And here, look at the back of the tablet, look at the back of the tablet, let me put the tablet on the floor so you can see. I can turn this to see, turn this round. But what I did is this, I made my own DIY tablet holder. See? And, see that's what I'm saying, anything you, anything you do with, when you put your mind to, to it, look at that. Do you know, I, just, I just did this in five minutes in my workshop right here. Put it together. And it'll turn this way. And... When I get my mount, the mount will be at the back of here, and then turn this around, and I'll put this here, this here, which you know, which you can put your hand here, say, put your hand through, through here, it's basically going to go on, it's going to do that, it's going to go, go, so it should look something like this, something like that, see underneath, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you how it works, and see, this is what I've done here, and see, that's how it's going to look. Like that, and the mount's gonna go at the back of this. And that's how it's gonna look. And see, and I can move it up and down and turn it around. It's amazing what you can do with DIY, isn't it? And like I says, let's put down here. I can turn it. See, I can turn it anytime I want to. I can turn this around, turn it this way. So when when I have my mount on there, this will be on the wall and the mount. And see, on the wall like that. And I can turn it around any way I want to. Turn it around, awesome, isn't it? Turn it around. Awesome. All things that you can do with DIY, and it's straight, it's tight, so it's hold down tight. 
and that's my warm out DIY. I'm going to take this off and sand down the edges and everything. Don't do that. And like I said, so I'm going to measure this to, so I'm to get my pillows made. My, so so now, the only thing i got to do really, do the pillows made, um, take, sure, take sure everything is all solid from the rain and weather, and sec secure this, secure this with a door, and then put the mounts on the door. And like I said, one of the handles will go here, make it look nice, the handles here, and the handle will be on the door on the outside. It'll look like this. It looked like this. Let me see. I put a handle here. Probably put it about here so I can my lock. I can use my lock and key. So it's gonna be here. So I've got to figure out how I'm gonna do the thing here. I'll figure this out. I may just put a tape thing round and then paint it white. I may just that instead. That blue tape and then put this door here. One here and then one here. So I have two. So I can pull it and use this and pull. Or just put, or maybe we can put it. I don't know. Maybe here. Nah, I don't. That don't look right. Probably here. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And what else I'm gonna do? I got my air conditioner in the corner here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in the corner here. Over time, I figure it out. I was thinking I'm gonna put some drawers here. Put some drawers here. Nice long piece of drawers. And my fridge or my fridge, my fridge. That I have in my camper van. I'm gonna get another one put in here. Cause I wanna have a separate fridge rather than have two fridges. So this, the camper trailer will have its own fridge. I may put that in here actually. My shower and bathtub's in there. As you can let me, let me show you that again, guys. My bathtub is in there. I, I sealed it as you can see. I sealed it all around so water can't splash out and get all over the sides. I'm gonna paint this in time. I'll show you that. My storage here, my storage for my sheets and stuff is gonna go in here. Sorry, I ain't got no lights, guys. So you gotta see what there's no lights. My storage, my sheets and go in here. My shopping, my shopping and stuff will go in here. My food and stuff like that. Go in here. And then here, here or here, I'm gonna put my stove, my um stove. I may, not even, I may not even buy another stove because like I said, I have a stove in a camper van. I'll just take that one out and bring it here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna buy another stove. I thought I'd buy a separate stove. Certain things I won't buy separate. You know, the only thing I'll have separate is like the heater, certain things that's gonna stay in here. But just like, like, like the, um, the stove stuff, Nah, I just put it in there when I'm, I just put it in the van when I'm using it, or put it in here, you know, because I like both. If, when I'm not pulling this, then the stove will be in the van, and when I'm pulling this, of course the stove will be in the van, I can take it out and use it here. So I'm not going to buy two stoves, you know, don't make sense. But like, a, uh, drawers are going to go here somewhere, the TV mount here, the heater here, my wires that go through here, that's going to go right through, right through to the, let me see, to here. As you can see right through there i gotta I got seal that i gotta seal that up as well and that's about where i am that's why i am where i am right now so another about another month i should be done this it should be done i could do it finish it in no time but like i said i gotta work i'm working so i'm doing it between time right now it's gonna rain as you can see it's gonna rain so that's why i'm not doing too much i'm doing a little bit here so i'm just showing you little diy work and that like i said before the diy is awesome we can learn to do this yourself think about it when you buy a camp trailer this size if you'd buy a let me close the door here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. You buy a camper trailer like this size, and you're paying something this size. Let me see. Something this size, you're, you're paying like at least easily fifteen, twenty thousand dollars for this, and that's a cheap one. I made mine cheaper than that. My thing here, like I says, my trailer, the trailer itself, costs nine ninety nine, basically a thousand dollars with tax. This, hundred dollars. For this, just a solid hundred dollars, and it can be secured. It's starting to rain out here now, and the wood and everything. So I'm looking at probably three thousand, three thirty-five, four hundred, four thousand dollars, with all the effort and everything I did. That's fucking cheap for for this size too. And the funny thing is, if I don't want to, because I'm about I'm about, I'm about five eight, I know I'm gonna bend my head. If I don't want to, I don't have to use the height up. I can use the, I can just stand up in here. And you know, I, you know, I don't have to use the high top if I don't want to. Of course, that's for the uh, maxi fans going there, and my solar panels going on top and the outside, of course. And that's about it. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Don't forget, like and subscribe, guys. If you love these DIY videos, we we are not professionals. We are DIY because we are punk. Oi, we are motherfucking punk. And remember this, guys. Live life on your terms. All right, guys? You guys are so fucking awesome. I'll see you, see you guys in the next round. And always learn DIY. The best way and the amount of money you save is fucking astounding. I'm telling you, guys. You save a lot of money if you can learn to do things yourself. I'm telling you. Like I says, I got the mount. And I make my own mount holder. Look at that mount holder. If you had to buy that, cost money. Make my own. There you go. 
Anyway, with that, I'm out. Keep it nice, keep it sweet, and keep it real, and I'll see you in the next round. All right, guys? You guys are fucking awesome. Cheers.